Hey everyone, welcome back to perhaps the last episode of Digimon World Dawn. That's right, in the last video, I said I would do more quests, but as I discussed it over Skype a bit, I just didn't seem to find the point to do all the quests. So, whoever it was, I s this was made right after the quest. I'm sorry if I forgot your name yet again. It's my fault, it's not yours, it's just my stupid fault. But, in the end, I decided to make this video my last, so, this is the grand finale of Digimon World Dawn, and uh, I'd like to thank everyone who had uh, supported the series by leaving some helpful comments, uh, perhaps leaving a light, not, nice little comment chain, like uh, commenting on the nickname of my Digimon, um, helping me with extra hints and such, for example, the Three Angels quest, so I would like to thank you. Thank you, whoever did that. And I forgot to go talk to the person. I, I, I can't believe I forgot. I'm so stupid. Whilst in my um, hurrying to uh, get the quest done, I forgot to go to the union room, which is like where the basis majority of the quests lie. So, let's just get started. Welcome, Light. I have a favor I want to ask of you. Actually, you're the only one that can do it. Oh yeah, you may have heard about them before, but there are a group of Digimon called Gaia Origin that have that have reigned and been admired for ages on the server. They normally don't show themselves to others, even if even I don't see them often. We just got a letter from them challenging the Union. A Fonimon and I discussed it, and we came to and we came to the conclusion. They are probably interested in you because of your performance during the incidents regarding the Chrono data. Final battle and all attracts all the attention. They've been watching over the server long before the Union was ever founded. The Union is child's play to them, but now that a tamer like you has emerged, I think they may finally be recognizing us as a legitimate or organization. Imagine, I imagine it's not all of them though. Their opinions of us are probably divided. I think they must be sending us this challenge to sell their opinions about us. So Light, it's more of a challenge directed towards you than it is the Union. Great. Great. Okay, so I represent the Union. Nice. And this will be the final quest of the game. And perhaps I'll ever do. I mean, there was one other quest. But I think that'll take even longer than the Gaia Origin, in my opinion, so I'm just gonna skip that for, like, uh, the welfare of, every of everyone's sanity. And so let's get on going. Note, this quest is in a new area called Transfield. And within Transfield... Uh, within Transfield... Here it is, Transfield. They have every single type of Digimon. So if you want to do some training, the Transfield is your best option. And now, just hang on one moment. Okay, then, sorry about that. And uh, let's just continue with my explanation. There are separate areas to Transfield. This is the first area that you will enter. Inside Transfield, there are separate types of Digimon. And as I told you, Transfield has every single Digimon. So, um... Basically, each area holds a portion of the Digimon. For example, this area contains light and no holy and dragon type species. And if we go on to the next area, which I believe is right here. Oh, I was right. Ah, there are chaos portals here. I forgot to mention that. Each chaos portal will take you to, to a different area as usual. Alright. So, this next area contains beast type Digimon and. Ooh, Light Robe. I may need that for defense. Alright, so this type contains beast type Digimon as well as insect plant type Digimon. So, each of these areas contains a wide variety of opponents to fight. Some of the Digimon in the first area include Super Starmon and Pyrodramon Dragon Mode. That's right. This area is um, where you can legitimately get Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. And Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode, in my opinion, is like one step away to getting the most awesome 
awesome character in the well awesome Digimon in the series. Imperial Digimon Palad no fighter mode. Not Paladin. That's when you DNA did you evolve yet again. Oh I'm just rambling now. I'm sorry for getting you bored. Okay. Now if we continue on to the next area, just let me get this. I'm just getting all the items I can get. Mostly because I forgot the stock and mostly because I may need them. This area should look very obvious without me even explaining it. Now but I'll I'll still explain it nonetheless. Bit ring T. No, I won't discard this. I'm getting so many items. Uh too many items to be precise. Alright, so this area contains um Aquan Digimon and Bird type Digimon, if I'm correct. Aquan, Bird and what else? What else? I have a feeling there's something no Aquan, Bird and No no that's it. Just Aquan and Bird. Alright. And that's all the Digimon for this area. Some types of these Digimon Well some names of the Digimon include Jumbo Mamimon. Um not Jumbo Mamimon, what am I saying? Uh Shinjimon uh Phoenix No not Phoenix Eaglemon um, and some other that I forget. It's, it, it's my mistake. Alright, the last one, the dark type area, and is as the name suggests. It's filled with dark type Digimon as well as machine type Digimon, I believe with a hint of beast. So, um, it includes Digimon such as Lilithmon, um, Lilithmon, Jumbo Mamimon, like I said before, um, all oh, right, I forgot. Basically, these will teleport you to areas, and that just teleported me back to the first area. So if I were to ever come back here, I would just have to go through that portal. And now let's go find another one. Uh, okay, that's the portal we came through. Let's go through here and get this. Snag that. Fire rope. We're getting so many stuff and the and the T part is like the highest of the level so basically getting all these T's I, it, I don't know like the actual meaning but it's I I think it's a Greek word if I'm correct yet yes it's Greek but I don't know the exact meaning all right if I stand through this portal it's game time so I just want to check if I have everything equipped if not, I might as well equip some new. Oh, I don't have anything equipped. Jeez, that's so stupid of me. Okay, so let's equip some Bluck Gangs on this guy. Just for the heck of it. Shine Sword for the extra kick and attack. I mean, look at that attack right there. 634 plus 155. That's, that's going to do some damage. Alright, so let's now equip some Excaliburs to uh, Saria and perhaps a little bit of resistance. I believe uh, Gold Cloak will do just fine. You see, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is well, the, once we get to the actual Digimon themselves, I'm just equipping everything I got. That's good. For the uh for and for, the, for these guys, all right. Let's equip light robe T just in case. Well, I I don't think it's the I believe it's the like the best. So many wind robes. Not even funny. Spirits speed. I'll take a uh, speed ring. I need to outrun Sun Digimon there. Alright then, and I believe their stats are looking fine. So let's enter here and let the Gaia Origin Challenge begin. Sleepmon and Duftmon are the first two Digimon here. Sleepmon is an alternate evolution to Saria's evolution line, but I cannot get him because I did not have Kudamon. 
Duftmon is a DNA digivolved form of Leomon and Slash Andromon. I forget I forget the requirements, but those are the requirements. Requirement Digimon, to be precise. And in the Gaia Origin, as I've mentioned once again, they are the first two Digimon you will fight. And they are very fast because right now they're going to be right after Saria. So, once again, that's pretty fast standards. I'm just going to... And I'm doing considerate chunks of damage to them already. That's, that's impressive. Shining Ray for the geeks. Ah, oh, do some criticals here. All right. All right. It's not bad. Even though Fatal Cannon is a holy type and they have resistance to it, it still did good enough to wipe out Sleepmon. Now, both of these Digimon are going to be very tough if you do not have the proper statistics. So, for the Guy Origin challenge, I would highly recommend that before you come here, make sure you're at least level 80, you've degenerated quite a few times, and your stats should be in the 600 zone. If it's not, do some training, man. Do some training. Alright, we acknowledge your worthiness. Not the Union, but only you, Light. You fight well. Yes, uh, no, not really. It's a common strategy called main character powers. It's a very useful strategy right there. Apocalymon is number three, I believe. Now oh, that's insulting. <laughs> All right, and that's it for the first two. This is Apocalymon, Dark Type Digimon, and uh, I believe Evolution Line. I don't remember the exact Evolution Line, that's my mistake. But uh, it is a very tough Dark Type Digimon to take down. As you can see, I'm barely doing any damage to him. So, so this is why you should have some Holy Type attacks on you, as I have right now. So, this, so these types of battles would go on pretty easy and since I have two holy types with holy type attacks it's gonna be pretty good and also mentioning a new LP um, that's right since this LP is gonna be finished pretty quickly um, I'm going to be announcing it uh, I, uh, what the heck I'm just gonna announce right now my next LP is going to be Pokemon Sapphire that's right, um, I believe one of my friends, Azure, has been waiting for me to do Sapphire. I mean, stalking me about it on Skype. He just popped the question a few times, like, Light, do Sapphire, do Sapphire, and all that. So, after this LP, I plan to do Sapphire. Next up, Susanumon. Alright, Susanumon has to be, like, one of my favorites in the Gaia Origin Challenge. M not only because he is just so darn powerful, and, and, but mostly because I remember watching Digimon Frontier as a kid, and on the final episode, he just looks so cool. He just looks so cool right there. Heck, even the gauntlets show a bit of Digimon uh, Frontier with the uh, Emperor Greymon, Emperor Gurumon right there. I think it's Emperor Greymon and Emperor Gurumon. I can't remember exactly. And as you can see, these guys just keep on getting tougher and tougher by the second. Not now, not my now my attacks are doing like quarter damages to them. Flash punch is a three hit. Oh, two. Oh, that's a big amount there. Hmm. All right. So Susanamon is going to be pretty difficult to take out on the first try. However, once you start whittling him down on the second turn, it's gonna be good. Also, I almost forgot to say, on my Pokemon Sapphire walkthrough, I plan to have like totally remade sap sidebars. Now, you're questioning why remade? Have you, have you done Sapphire before? The question is yet. Yeah. The answer to that is yes, I have done Sapphire before. I 
was Super Nintendo Gamer before I got hacked into Lightfang X. And if you found this video and you reached up to this point, congratulations! You just found me again. And subscribe to me if you like uh, haven't. And let's just continue on. I did Sapphire for Super Nintendo Gamer. It was one of my early walkthroughs and didn't get much, that much views, but hopefully after dawn and while I'm doing tons of other uploads yeah then it's us alright oh my god we still have more to go of course I can alright then now as I was saying ahem. okay as I was saying I did I did Pokemon Sapphire for an LP that I did on Super Nintendo Gamer. It was my very second LP that I've done, and uh, I wanted to try commentary. Now, the first few episodes, it was just me using very awkward sidebars. I mean, it, they weren't even sidebars. They were just like something made in, uh, made with Camtasia. And now, uh, after a few episodes in, I believe, I started to use sidebars. They were like noobish at first, but um, unfortunately, I don't have any files to show you. I mean, I really would have loved to show you my old sidebars, but I had to, but I had to delete them because of computer space. All right, now it's just them two. Okay, so that's why I'm just gonna bring Pokemon Sapphire back, as I do with Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Now I think, um, let's see, I think these are the last two, or no, these aren't the last two. Never mind. Um, I think there's one more after this. I, I I believe there's one more after this. If there isn't, it's my mistake yet again. And most of these Digimon have been holy type. So it just coincides nicely with the whole Dawn theme going on here. I mean, there are a bit of dark type Digimon. For example, Apocalymon and Zed Millenniumon. Other than those, they... All, all the light types just like go hand in hand with the whole theme, theme of this game with the, all the holy types. I just repeated myself, but it's just to get a point across. Oh wow, these guys are tough. Transcendent Sword. Nothing. You wish to try me? You fool. You, have, you got nothing on me. Alright, alright, Apollo is taking this very well. I'm not gonna lie, he's taking the he's taking all this very well. I'm just gonna give these two burst breaths to Omnimon, then I could finish him off with at least two shining rays from Shine Greymon. Come on, come on. Oh yes. There goes Alphamon. And there goes Omnimon. So far, the Gaia Origin has been a pretty easy challenge overall. Not too, not too shabby. They have dealt some damage. I won't lie. Ah, two matches left, and there are five matches already. How time flies when you're having fun. Uh, great. Don't worry. Anytime now. What's with everyone? Yowzamon burst, uh, burst mode. No. Yowzamon... I don't know. I think it's burst mode. But how could you lose to a Digimon with a Tamer? Digimon need to live independently. He's like the rebel. Dot dot dot. Hey now, don't make the mistake of thinking you won with your skill. They're all just holding back. No! I'm... Yes, you are wrong. Yes, I was holding back. Let's do this! Versus Bialzamon BM. Bialzamon can be obtained by either get. You can obtain Bialzamon first by getting an Ipmon. Well, you have to befriend Ipmon in order to get Bialzamon. Then the DNA Digivolution. I forget. Uh, so I'm sorry for not remembering most of the Digivolutions, but it's just that a lot of them are really cool. And I. And to be honest, all of these are just slipping 
the top of my mind. But in order to get Bialzmon Burst Mode, you need to have Bialzmon and Bancho Leo and Bancho Leomon. And I think you need to DNA to get Bancho Leomon too. So you got lots of DNA Digivolution to do, my friend, if you want to get Bialzmon Burst Mode. And that's it. No, I just want to do it. Not Bow Stamp. Energy Shot. Yeah, that's a good accuracy attack. And that's it for Bial's Mob Burst Mode. Once again, even though all of these are level 90s, they're pretty easy overall. The last one is Gallant Mon Celestial Mode. Or Crimson Mode. Whatever way it works. He's like top head of the guy origin challenge he's the most strongest out of all of these guys and if you've had trouble with the others then you're gonna have a heck of a time against Gallimon. Uh you're gonna have a heck of a time against gallant mon uh, crimson mode basically gamma crimson mode is the dna digivolution uh, dna digivolved form of gallant mon and seraphi mon if you don't have those two Digimon, you are unable to perform the DNA Digivolution. Once again, I keep on forgetting the stats for the, for these DNA Digivolutions. And as you can see, I'm doing nothing to this guy. I'm sorry, but did you see that damage? I just took out, like, what, an eighth of his HP? An eighth? This is going to be a pretty intense battle. I think I may faint once. And that might be it. Oh, Invincible Sword. It's a it's a three zone attack that hits twice, I believe, or three times. No, twice, thank god. Okay, um We're gonna need to up this a bit. So yes, I'm using a stat move for the first time. Oh my god. Well this guy is just begging for it. Glorious burst did nothing. Saint heal. Gonna need to restore my HP, of course. Alright, that's quite a bit. Okay, Invincible Sword is gonna screw me over. I just know it. Oh my god, look at that! It's taking me out with extreme hits. Okay. Let's do some Burst Breaths. Then, next turn, Fyrus will do the Blazing Power again. Or Blaze Counter. Blaze Counter, I've never used that yet, have I? Uh, Blaze Counter does uh, uh, counter damage, of course, so sometimes if an opponent attacks me, I can reflect some damage right back at them, so that's going to be pretty good. Separatic C, or Separatic Cannon, if I think that's the correct term. Burst Counter. I'm just going for the stats, man. I'm just going for the stats. Okay, I'm going to use a double attack. Just to do more damage in single. That's not even enough? Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. Fatal cannon. Let's see how you do. Oh, critical. Nice. Royal cannon hits all zones, so... Oh, double reverse. Ah, oh, it didn't kill him. Well, if that didn't kill him, then this will. Grand Finale, Soul Blaster. And that's the end of the game, folks. Well, no, not really. LOL. Okay, we made it to the end. And there's Clockmon? Uh, Clockmon is uh I think he set up the challenge. Wow, Fanimon was part of the Gaia origin. That's impressive. Jeez. Bialzmon, you're such uh, alright. So there are several uh, there are there is a reward for beating these guys the first part is data that's right 
in d dawn and dusk the data is different if you have dusk you'll get Biausman bm data and if you have dawn you'll get gallantmon crimson mode data so it depending on the version you'll get a hundred percent scan of those two very hard to obtain digimon so that's a plus right there that's a plus and I believe their aptitudes are in the high 80s, low 90s. So you can train them up no problem. I mean, literally no problem. They, they, can, have, they can be level 89 in max stats. Whatever works for you. Okay, let's go talk to the Union. Hmm. You've only just started. All right, and that's the final mission of the game. Now let's go get our final reward. Oh man, it's been such a long time since I started Dawn. I mean, like March fifth since I started this channel. I mean, I I never thought that I'd get this far. And just before school too. That's nice. Take your reward. One ninety, fifty thousand bits. Blood gang. That's a cheap reward. I'm sorry, but Blood Gang, really, Gaia Origin, like seven, like not eight challenges, Blood Gang. That's 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 bad. I'm sorry, but uh. okay. So this is gonna be the final time that I say it on this LP. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then.